One, go. All right, guys, and I forgot the name of this one. This is the grit. <laughs> so for this workout, at three, two, one, go, one partner is going to run to the rower. The, go ahead. The other partner is going to come to the barbell, and they're just going to wait. How this is going to work out, the first section is three rounds. This partner will row 250 meters if they're a male. They will row 225 meters if they are a female. There will be a judge dedicated to this side. When that athlete gets to their distance, which it'll probably be best, the judge right here in this open space, when the athlete gets to their 250, in the case of a male, they will say go or good or something specific to let that side know they are good to go. So he's done 250, I'm the judge, good. Then this person, they will be here with their bar. We're not gonna be right up on the line. We're gonna be a little bit back. They will then perform 10 power cleans. That means the bar touches the ground every time touch, catch, and <coughs> they must stand up before the bar then comes back down, touch. If they muscle clean like this, that's okay. If they need to squat clean like this, that's okay. If they need to drop it and break it up multiple times, that's okay. They do 10. The judge for this is gonna be kind of towards the crowd in this corner, counting. When they completed 10, they will give notes to the other side. Good, and then they will go again. So this format keeps like this for three rounds, where in this case, Joseph will row three times in a row, Corey will power clean three times in a row. Once we've completed that three, we will switch. Now pay attention, I just finished power cleaning. I'm now going to go to the rower. Since I just finished, I am not going to immediately start rowing. Now it's gonna be Joseph's turn Joseph will then take off on his power cleans. He will do his 10. When he gets done, I will do my 250 meter row. And we will proceed through that for three rounds. It is, it is necessary, the rower resets to zero every single time. The judge can help with that, but it's not the judge's responsibility. The judge's responsibility is to make sure that got to 250 before that person started. Okay, so we finished technically six rounds. now. We will proceed to this front side where this slam ball is going to stay in what is this kind of center aisle. We now together have to complete 75 burpees and 100 ball slams. The way this will work is we can work at the same time. We do not have to be in sync so one person can go faster than the other and there will be two judges. Now we can switch back and forth as needed, but the ball cannot move to the other side. So at not the call of go, but when we decide, hey, we're ready to start, Joseph starts doing burpees, go ahead and do like two. I start doing ball slams. Cool and relax. There will be a judge right here counting the ball slams and also giving no reps if the elbows did not completely straighten out or if the arms did not get all the way to lockout. The easy way to think of this is the same standard as a kettlebell swing at the top. We're not concerned with the effort of throwing the ball down, gravity does that. So one judge is counting reps. This has to get to 100. Another judge is counting burpees. That has to get to 75. Say we decide, <coughs> excuse me, we decide to switch. I'm just gonna slide over here. Joseph slides over there. Again, ball doesn't move and we just keep going. This part's gonna take some time. So judges, just stay put, count your reps, give no reps if needed. Once they have completed the 100 ball slams, 75 burpees, we will then assume the positions of where we started. So now, Joseph will go back to the rower, I will go back to the barbell. Now, small note here, in the event, we mix that up. If I go to the rower and Joseph goes to the barbell, it doesn't matter, right? What matters now is that we just keep the same format. The barbell will now be a shoulder to overhead, okay? And pause, while we were doing that middle part, the judge will just make sure this barbell is rolled to the edge of the line, but not over the line. All right, resume. So our last section is, we will have three more rounds of Joseph Rose 250. Once he's done, the judge says go. This person will do 10 shoulder. 
to overhead. Once they've completed 10, they drop it, judge says go. We repeat that for three rounds. That shoulder to overhead can be anyhow. We just have to make sure that the legs stand up and they're on the same line, right? If the legs were like this and we dropped it, that doesn't count. And again, this can be broken up just like the power cleans if needed. After three rounds, we switch. And again, same thing now, whoever was on the barbell will go here and rest. And the person now that just rode will start their 10. Once they've done 10, they will tell this person to go. But we have three rounds of that. So now the barbell will technically finish first. And then when this last person finishes their row, we will hop up and we both need to run to the start mat. Once we're on the start mat, that is the call of time. This has a 24 minute time cap. We do expect some people to not finish this. All right, guys, uh, Joseph, anything? Burpee standard. Burpee standard, yeah, I'll let you just jump in on that. A couple things that we're looking for in the burpee is the chest touches the ground completely. You might see some people try to get away with just their stomach. So make sure that chest touches the ground. When you come up, we wanna see full hip extension, not just a jump. So some people might try to do this where they're bent over with their chest facing the ground. We want to see their hips extended, they're facing completely up. And then the hands, we don't really care that they like clap or anything like that. We typically go behind the head. I don't know if you want to specify, uh, but just up on the hands, extended at the hip, and then the feet come off the ground again, just enough that we can slide some paper underneath those feet, but they do come off the ground. Cool. All right, guys. And that's it.